Four weeks after her daughter tragically died, this mom opened the sealed letters she'd left behind. When a mother sees her newborn baby for the first time, never before will she have felt a love so pure and unconditional. It then stands to reason that when such love is cruelly and unexpectedly taken away, never before will she have experienced such immense pain. When it happened to this mom, she needed some comfort from the grief. She found it in the letters her daughter left behind. On April 10, 2000, Cindy Mathis Rader learned what it was like to truly love and be loved. That was the day she gave birth to her first child, Macy Mathis. By her own admission, Rader had made mistakes, that much is true. But nonetheless, Mathis had the heart to forgive and loved her mom unconditionally. Mom and daughter enjoyed an incredibly close relationship. The two of them from Tifton, Georgia would share heartfelt messages on Facebook, publicly expressing what they meant to each other. They were more than mom and daughter, they were, as they so often confessed, each other's best friend. Indeed, Rader described her daughter as a second mom in the household, so she would often help out around the house and even had a hand in raising Rader's three younger sons. Indeed, one Mother's Day, Mathis encouraged her brothers to write notes to their mom expressing what they loved about her. Perhaps it was because of Rader's difficult childhood that Mathis felt the need to reinforce how proud she was of her mom. Rader's formative years included time spent in foster care and a period living on the streets. By her own admission to today parents, the mom had faced a lot of challenges in life. When she was as young as 12, Mathis wrote a poem about Rader for school. In the last line, she wrote, I'm proud to call her my mom. What's more, it wouldn't be the last time the teenager wrote messages for Rader. For her birthday one year, Mathis wrote a series of letters to her mom, only to be opened when instructed. On each of the 25 envelopes, Mathis had written in the top left corner, open when, and whenever her mom felt, for example, restless, lonely, excited, or simply couldn't sleep, there would be a letter from the teenager, but they were only to be opened when the time was right. In particular, Rader and Mathis would talk about feeling lonely or missing each other. Mathis had been dating her boyfriend, Adam Sattler, for over a year. The mom had spoken to her daughter about the possibility she and Sattler might move to New York together. It was an idea that never played out. At around 10.30 p.m. on November 20th, 2016, students at the Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College were drawn to a fire in the street outside the campus. The source of the fire was a car, a Nissan 350Z, belonging to the 18-year-old Adam Sattler. The Georgia Tech student was in town visiting family and his girlfriend, Macy Mathis. According to a friend, Sattler had attended a cookout where he was showing off his car. After he left, he hit a curb while heading north on Moore Highway and lost control of the vehicle. A second impact on another curb sent the car into the air before it hit a tree and subsequently caught fire. Sattler was thrown from the vehicle and lost his life at the scene of the crash. Traveling with him that night was Mathis, who was in the passenger seat. Though alive when first responders arrived, the 16-year-old was in critical condition and was airlifted to the hospital in Macon. Though the young couple had talked about moving in together, it looks like they'd had even bigger plans. Sattler and Mathis seemingly had talked about marriage and the possibility of spending the rest of their lives together. In a way, they did, when Mathis succumbed to her injuries on November 25th, 2016. I did feel lonely when she left me, Rader told today parents, nearly three months after the crash. We talked about her moving to New York with Adam or living the good life, moving away and leaving, but not like this. I feel like she knew. Still mourning the loss of her daughter, Rader made a discovery that would help ease the pain a little. Weeks after the crash, she was clearing out her car when she found a letter. It was one of the 25 notes Mathis had given her for her birthday that year. Rader had all but forgotten about them. The envelope read, open when you can't sleep. The message inside read, I want you to know that I love you. I feel like I don't tell you that enough. And since you can't sleep and you're probably stressed about something, I need you to know that I love you. With that, Raider's tears began to flow freely. That's when I had remembered she'd written these for me, Raider recalled to CBS News in February of 2017. I tore my room apart looking for them. Raider had only read three of the letters before Mathis passed away. From then on, she vowed to only open one when she needed it, as per her daughter's instructions. 
There was one letter, however, entitled, Open When You Miss Me. It read, Hey mommy, I'm sorry that you're missing me. I hope wherever you are or whatever you're doing, you're okay. I'm probably missing you too. I honestly don't like being away from the house for too long. I get homesick pretty easily. The note continued, When I was little and lived with dad, I would look forward to being with you. I think some of it was because you always had good food at your house, but most of it was because I just missed you so much. I will always and forever love you, Mommy. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Mathis had dreamed of traveling the world. Though she never had the chance to do it while she was alive, her story continues to touch people the world over through a Facebook page Raider keeps in her daughter's memory. Whenever Mom opens another letter, it gets posted here. Raider is grateful to have letters since the heartbreaking crash that stole her daughter away. She told Today Parents, I'm very thankful for them because I don't have closure. They give me a little bit of closure to know how much she knew I loved her. They keep her alive. 